What's up, YouTube fams? It's your boy, Bells Films, and I am back with another episode of Who Put You On, man. And today, we're going to be talking about Bel Air. That's right, the brand new hit TV series. Um, you can watch it on Peacock, and it is a reboot to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and it is amazing, man. If you anything like me, you are a big Fresh Prince of Bel Air fan. You know, I love Will Smith, you know, rest in peace to James Avery. I'm the whole cast, man. Well, we basically grew up on The Fresh Prince. And I'm watching The Fresh Prince, um, all of the last, um, the life lessons that the show taught us. Um, it was a, you know what I'm saying, family-oriented type show. And I'm pretty sure y'all already know the story. Um, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air story. Will, from West Philly, gets in a fight, moves to uh, Bel-Air, rich aunt and uncle. What they did was they took the show, the original show, and they made it a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more gritty. Um, and a lot of people doesn't, don't like that, you know what I'm saying? But I actually love it, man. I love the twists and the turns they put on the show. It's the same characters, but they have um, slightly different traits, you know what I'm saying? On the first one, you know, um, Will kind of still has the same character with the, you know, playing basketball, basketball star. Um, and he has the same character. Of course, Jeffrey was a butler. On this one, he's more of like a, I would say, security guard, hitman type of person. Um, Carlton is um, a big time lacrosse player at Bel Air. He's still kind of nerdy, like like the first character. But we can all say that Carlton is the most hated character on the show right now. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give away some spoilers on this joint. I'm not. I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna try not to give too many spoilers away. Uh, but, you know what I'm saying, this is a review of the show. Hillary, I love the way they did Hillary's character. Um, she's not like a dumb type blonde like they had her, made her out to be in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Um, she's more of like a, blog, a blogger, you know, YouTuber, um, social media personnel type person. And she has a lot of followers, she's business oriented. Um, and she's trying to make it on her own, so, so she's grinding. They made her more of a powerful black um, young woman. Um, which I love. Um, Ashley's character is gonna be like in girls and guys in this one, in the reboot. So we're gonna have to see some more of what she has in store, what they have in store for us, for her character. They haven't really broken down Ashley's character all the way, so we're gonna see. It's Uncle Phil, pretty much the same guy. He is running for a seat as the district attorney. Aunt Viv, Aunt Viv is an artist on this one. Um, you know, Uncle Phil keeps trying to down just her being an artist saying she used to be an artist. So I don't know, it might be some trouble in paradise with Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv. I don't know. They have Carton like doing drugs on this one, uh, which was a big surprise. Like I said, Carton is the most hated character on the show. Um, and they have Jazz on there. They have Jazz on there. He's the owner of a record store and he drives a cab. Fresh Prince of Bel Air reboot. Bel Air is the truth, man. And it's got, it's racy, it's aggressive. They got guns in there, you know, cursing. We're not used to that because when we seen the, when you watch the original Fresh Prince of Bel Air, it's nothing but laughs, jokes, comedy. It's no cursing, you know what I'm saying? Because it was on national TV, because it was on national TV and kids can actually see it. Um, you know, they made it a little more light and I just love the twist that they put on this show, man. It made the show so dope. The show is so dope, man. Two thumbs way, way up. Creators of this show, you know, Will is the executive producer. So two thumbs way, way up to Will and the rest of the producers and directors on this show because it is amazing. I can't wait to see what they do next. So you haven't had a chance Please go and check out Bel Air. It's on Peacock channel um, for $4.99. You want to purchase that for $4.99. It's on the Peacock channel. Y'all go up there. Usually when we see reboots, we don't see this type of reboot. We see this almost the same exact show when we see a reboot. This reboot is different. And I think that's what makes it unique. That's what makes it stand out. That's what makes people want to see it. I mean, it's not power. It's not snowfall or anything. But it's still got that racy, gritty thing that I think everybody's like, everybody likes that's real popular right now. You don't know what's gonna happen next. The twist and the turns. I know some of us are so used to the original Fresh Prince that we cannot accept the reboot. 
And I, I always thought that was crazy, man. You got to accept things. You got to accept change. We're not used to accepting change. You know what I'm saying? We're so used to this family-oriented show that we can't accept the change. I actually love the change that, that they did to the show. I love the change. I love the twists and the turns. I like different things, man. That's what we have to get used to. Liking different stuff and just accepting it and embracing it and enjoying it for what it is. That's it for today, guys. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so y'all can see when I'm coming up there. And y'all just keep tuning in to Who Put You On? Hey.